How does an exit interview help in retention efforts? It's too late for the person that's leaving, right? But the data that you can collect in exit interviews or even exit surveys can be invaluable to an organization. If you've been paying any attention, you know that the great resignation has quit rates at an all time high. People are leaving organizations in droves and many employees are citing culture as the reason that they're leaving. So you want to understand exactly what isn't working in your organization in order to prevent further employees from leaving. Being able to not only gather that feedback, but respond to that feedback by making shifts in your culture so that more people don't leave is critical to success. By the end of this video, you'll know how important exit interviews are, as well as some of the great questions that you can ask in an exit interview to get the most value out of that meeting. Conducting an exit interview is like going to marriage counseling after the divorce is already finalized. It's not completely useless, but it certainly would have been more effective if it was done a little bit earlier. So ideally, you're not only gathering data at the exit interview, but rather you're gathering data and opinions from your employees throughout the entire tenure of their work with you at your organization. Sometimes it can be hard to tease that information out of people, even in an exit interview. For example, if someone's leaving because of their manager, they may be reluctant to share that reality in an exit interview for fear of retribution or perhaps not getting a great reference. So when you're doing an exit interview, a best practice is to make sure that it's being done by a third party like HR and that the employee or soon to be former employee is reassured that the data that they share, the reasons that they explain in that exit interview will not be shared directly with the manager, but rather are being part of a collection of data that HR is gathering overall. But there is no way to guarantee that an employee will be honest in that exit interview. The best way to ensure honesty in an exit interview is to have established a culture of psychological safety before they even left. So it's important to note that you might not always get the truth. That's why anonymous surveys might also be a good way to gather that exit interview data. But what if there was an even better way to gather that information before they even quit? And I'm not talking about engagement surveys. That is called the stay interview. The stay interview is a regular check-in with employees long before they've given their notice to ask them the same questions that they might be asked in an exit interview. But specifically, you're trying to figure out what's working for them, what's not, what feedback do they have for the organization, what might make them more likely to stay with the organization or less likely to stay. Gathering that data before they leave will allow you to take some preventative measures to make sure that you can retain that employee. All of these tips are part of a cohesive plan that creates a workplace culture that employees want to be a part of. And if you're passionate about culture, then subscribe to this channel because its purpose is to unleash the power of culture to inspire both businesses and people to reach their full potential. So now you might be asking, what sort of questions do I even ask in an exit interview or a stay interview? Let's start with exit interviews. In an exit interview, you would wanna ask questions like, why did you start looking for a job? Would you ever consider returning? Because you might not realize how many employees leave a company only to come back a year or two later. In fact, many large organizations have what's called alumni programs in which they stay in touch with their alumni in the hopes of recruiting them back one day. That's a great way to attract employees who won't need as much training when they join because they've already worked for the organization. Another great question is, do you feel like your voice was heard from leadership? Why or why not? And finally, what could we have done better? We want employees to feel like they have a safe place to share their frustrations, the reasons for leaving, as well as anything that was positive in their experience because we want to learn and get better as an organization. Now, what about those stay interviews? If you're planning on doing stay interviews, then there's another set of questions that you can ask. Remember, the purpose of a stay interview is not to review employee performance. This is not a performance appraisal. If anything, it's the opposite. It's a company appraisal. It's the employee's opportunity to share how they feel the company has been doing. The tables have turned in a stay interview. And so in a stay interview, some of the key questions might include, what do you look forward to the most when you come to work every day? What do you like the most about your job? What do you like the least about your job? What keeps you here? 
If you could change something about your job, what would that be? What would make your job more satisfying? And finally, how do you like to be recognized for a job well done? What other questions have you been asked in either an exit interview or a stay interview? Add a comment below to share your thoughts. So how often should you do stay interviews? Best practice is to have more frequent stay interviews at the beginning of someone's tenure within an organization. The first year is when people are most at risk for leaving an organization. And so you're gonna wanna have a check-in in the first 30 days, 90 days, six months, and then at a year. After that, you can have stay interviews a little less frequently. Hopefully, every employee is having frequent feedback conversations with their manager. And so some of that information is getting trickled up through management. If not, Formal stay interviews are really important. And finally, the last tip I'm gonna leave you is what to say at the end of a stay interview or an exit interview. And this is really important because employees wanna feel heard. They wanna feel like their voices matter and that they're making a difference by sharing candid feedback with you. So at the end of every stay or exit interview, you're going to say, I appreciate you sharing your thoughts with me today. I am committed to making a difference with the feedback that you've given me. Exit interviews are great for understanding what's not working in your organization, but stay interviews are even better because they allow you to take action before you lose that high potential or top talent. So I have a free gift for you, and it is an ebook with our own research about how to create a culture that employees want to stay in, as well as tools to activate culture to get the results that you want to achieve. So you can either get that resource by clicking on the link below in the description, or you can go to gift.culture.io.